Greetings and hello, my name is CG Plays, and this is Dice Hero the Unoriginal Story, a turn-based roguelike deck builder that we're checking out the demo for. Alright, looks like we have five different characters we can choose to start with. I have no idea who is preferred here. And I think the corruption over here is kind of like a prestige system where it gets harder, like, the more times you win, maybe. And there's seeds as well, so you can, like, uh, maybe type in some numbers and, you know, do, like, a specific seed. But let's jump right in here and see what we've got. So the start of the journey looks like we get to pick something to start the run with. We can have a new item. We can upgrade an item we already have. I'm, I'm, are these the items that we have? I don't know. Uh, blessing or D8. Let's click a new item, see if we get like something new to put in here. I guess these are my items, maybe? We got three choices here. None of them's really call my name here. Um, but I guess maybe being able to re-roll a dice might actually be pretty useful. Or I could re-roll the rewards. But let's, let's you know what, just to see what we have available. I will re-roll. Ooh, Emerald Wand. One dice. I can heal myself. Yeah, yeah, be able to heal seems quite good. And if you're wondering what this weird little symbol here means, it's the total sum of all dice used for this attack. That's how you figure out how much this is going to do there. Okay. And got some kind of like Slay the Spire thing. It looks like we're going from, we're uh, over here, going from left over to right. It looks like this is the final boss. Demo will probably just have the one boss, I'd imagine. Got some very interesting faces over here. Elite battle. Spelled wrong. I kind of want to find out what this, uh, the blessings are. So let's go up here, uh, just straight up this way first. We'll fight this battle against this rat here. Three, five, health, two dice, one secret dice. Wait, secret dice? Whatever do you mean? I watched somebody else play this for five minutes, so this is the enemy here. This is the card they're gonna do first here, and then this, then this, and this. And these are my dice, these are their dice. The, I guess the secret dice is I can't tell what numbers they have. And this right here is the use, how many times I can uh, re reuse this before uh, my turns, like, you know, twice per turn, basically. I'm not sure why this has an exclamation onto my little item chest if I can't click it. Oh, because my little uh, wand thing. Oh, I needed, I, maybe I had to like equip my little wand thing outside of battle, my emerald thing. Also, the music has zero chill. <laughs> it's trying to be super hype. All right, so he's going to bite me for some damage. So we, let's 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 shield up here with uh, as much as we can. I'm not sure the difference between the triangles and like this. Maybe it's like how what how potentially like big they can get. Can I like click more? How many? Like, can I just like stack everything onto this? Looks like the maximum I can do is three dice for uh, adding block onto that. Okay, I don't think you're going to do that. I think I only need like five. So let's block. Uh, no? Oh, I have to use exactly three dice, gotcha. I guess I'll block eight with that, and so I have to use two dice, but I only have one available, so no attack this turn, let me end turn. Okay, we're figuring it out here, and you attack me, but uh, I block with my nice little shield. You're gonna do nothing this turn, so now I want to attack, so two dice, so I can do three and four, uh, use that one time, do seven on you, and use two dice again, I can activate it again, and does six damage this time, and we end turn, and you have an idol there, you do nothing, and... The dice re-roll after every turn, I think. So you're going to bite for one dice, so uh, you're going to attack me for four, or potentially six? I'm not sure how big these dice can get. I think four is the biggest as the triangle ones get. All right, so it's, I, I, can, I can only use the... I can't use the wood shield and the sword at the same time, so just pick the biggest dice we can. Shield up with that, and uh, got like, that's my shield icon right there. You lose 75% block in a turn, prevents moves burn, so you don't actually... Why is my end turn say three? Oh, that's the turn number. We're, that's the turn, okay. So we're actually retaining some of our shield, which is kind of nice. We do lose most of it. Ooh, two pair. So, oh, so if, two dice, and if they're a pair. So if you have a two over here, it would be four times... So you might do eight damage this turn, so I need to, like, armor up pretty heavily here. Because if you have a if you have two there, uh, also end turn here... Oh, no, no pair. So wait, how do you miss because you had no pairs? Okay, so we kind of blocked for nothing there. You're doing idle here, so I want to do as much damage as I can. So a little bit of this for a, a hit right there and do it again to get you again. You're getting down there. Okay, we're figuring out the game here. I could have probably watched the other person play the game for a little bit more to know how to play the game a little bit better, but we're getting it. And I think we can just take you out with this right here. And that's the end of the rat. And we kind of understand the basics of the game. I can add a die or upgrade. I think needing more, I think more dice would be good. That way I can shield and attack in the same turn. So add a die. We got like a, like a four die. Here's my inventory. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't, I need to equip this. So click you, um, main hand, right, right click, click and drag. How do I, how, how does one equip this? Okay, I clicked that to unequip that. So, oh, you can only have the one. Ooh, gotcha. So you have to choose between healing yourself and actually attacking. Well, that's not great. Maybe find a trinket or helmet that can attack. Maybe I can take off my shield? No? Alright, well, I guess that's useless. Well, now we know. Uh, that's good learning for the future. Also, here are my dice. Yeah, squares are six-sided, and the, it's a d4 or d6. Okay. Well, let's find out what this chance of event square here is, and see what we've got. Castle Hallway. In the distance, you see an abandoned castle. It's half in ruin. You walk towards it, enter it. One side, you see a maze of pathways. What path do you take? 
uh, left. Uh, castle chest. After a long war, uh, a long walk feels like a maze. We finally arrive in a room. In the middle of the room is a wooden chest overflowing with coins and treasures. Open. E. So we get an item. I guess chests give items. Makes sense. Do I do I always get one chance to reroll? Maybe. I hover. You can see this with a trinket, trinket offhand. So that would replace my current shield. Ooh, you reveal the secret dice. Seems not awful. Defender shield. You can like defend more, but also give yourself weakness and fatigue, which doesn't sound super great. Actually, at the end of the turn, weakness is removed, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, but fatigue makes weakness carry over the next turn, so that sounds like if you just want to turtle up and never attack, which we want to fight. I feel like having a trinket to remove poison, burn, weakness, and fatigue is probably going to be pretty useful, because uh, somebody's going to hit us with those things, right? So I'm going to... Yeah, we got that. It all equips there, and that can be used to get rid of bad stuff. Rest and buy. I'm not sure I have much money to shop with. Also, I want to get this uh, blessing here and fight these two elite battles. So regular battle here against here against a voodoo doll. If I can talk words. Sorry, I'm, we're st I'm still figuring out how to like properly do the format for these. Let's tries here. How much editing, how much leave the blunders in whatever voodoo doll. So you're going to attack me with a needle. You can use one dice for 14. Yikes, that's a good roll. And you're going to gain 14 thorns. So I can attack as much as I want right now. So let's go ahead and uh, just get like the big numbers here and hit you for nine damage and then hit you with some of this damage here and how's the thorn work burn removes thorns okay okay so the the thorn hurts me but i will also remove the so like 14 thorns i hit him for 14 i take 14 damage back myself but i also remove that 14 thorns but if they block it stops thorns from being removed at the end of the turn thorns reduced by one so he's just gonna keep stacking it the fact they start at the 14 is just devastating i do have the ability to heal though that's a thing I guess I can try like block up before I attack to like mitigate some of the damage that way. I, I have nothing else to do here. We'll end turn 14 thorn. That's going to just keep and it's going to just gonna, it's just going to keep stacking. So I need I need a lot of shield to reduce damage here because my healing thing is no good because I can't like bring my healing in and not bring my weapon to fight with. Right. I guess I can put on a 12 block here and then attack you for uh, four. How's this going to work? Um, I took 13 damage. And the, sh the, the the block did nothing. Took away four of that. Okay, so good to know block does not stop you from taking damage from thorns. That's unusual. Most games, if you have like a shield up before you attack, the thorn will hit the shield first. But not this game. I, I'm not sure if I agree with that design decision, but that's the decision we have. So we just need to go full on attacking before you stack more and more thorns. Okay, so you are... You're not a, you're not a thing to be trifled with here. So we're going to take a lot of damage from you. I need Maybe I... I, I wish I could have the healy thing and my attacky thing in the same battle, but uh, no dice here. So we're just going to have to eat some uh, unfortunate pain from you. And what a brutal creature to fight. There's just nothing to do. I guess you can heal after every fight is a thing. Um, maybe uh, add another die would be good or upgrade a die. Nah, add, add another die. Give ourselves options here and uh, check our blessing. I'm not sure if that was a normal battle. I'm not sure I'm ready for an elite battle. Check the blessing here. See what we got. All right, um, I think uh, we want to go for scales here. Actually, no, uh, I mean, that gaining thorn, nice, but what if, what if a reroll, right? Ooh, giant growth, gain plus one strength every three turns. Yes, please, I do want to get stronger and stronger. I assume that just makes me deal more damage. All right, elite battle, 150 health, yikes. William, the son of demons. Okay, it's a strange name for a, a, a demon or a son of demons. Ooh, you got some things here. So these can be up to six. So you you could be biting me for up to six damage. So I need to shield uh, six, right? So grab a three, a two, and a one. And then we'll take no damage for your attack here. And then we'll hit you for uh, five here. Maybe getting some more, uh, uh, I mean, more dice good, but also more damage good. It was a four. That's fine. So we block that. And you're going to do nothing this turn. You're going to be idle, so we might as well do as much damage as we can here. So the five and the four hit you with that for nine. Grab the three and the two, hit you for that for five. And uh, why are you pointing at this trinket? It was all poison, burn, weakness, and fatigue. I have none of those things. I guess why well, I clicked it and... Oh, I, you, I, you don't actually use dice to activate that. Is this like a once... It resets now. Oh, I, I messed up. I don't think this guy actually hits me with these things. So that's a uh, that's just you, you just use that once per battle for free. It doesn't even cost dice. So that's good to know. I should have hovered over that before I clicked it. But you don't appear to be hitting me with any of these uh, sad effects. So it doesn't matter. Why are these green right now? That's weird. Oh, because I got my plus one strength. My plus one strength uh, makes my dice better. That seems pretty good. That just seems very good. Blessings might be strong in this game. Ah, here's my blessing up here. These are my items. To total dice I have. Neat, neat, neat. 
So two dice, uh, the total damage plus five. So that's a six, that'd be 10 plus five. You could be dealing 15 damage right now. I need to block up with everything. So we're just gonna grab all these and block with this. Grab all these, block with, th uh, I can only do it once, Never mind. All right, we may have, shouldn't have chosen them so haphazardly then. I could block a little bit more. Hopefully you don't have a six there. And hey, look at that, uh, each dice value up by one. Okay, and turn. Oh, it was a one, that's good. So we can block all of that, so that's fine. You're doing it again. Ooh, a six, and if that's a six, that's 12, but you could be doing 17 damage. I just got block, I can only block once per turn here, so four, three, two, as much as I can. And then a two and a one to attack, I guess. These are like your your strong attacks here, you filthy elite. And a, oh, it was a one, so not so bad, only three damage. Two pair, so if you have a, a five, so it'd be 10 times, that could, that could be 20 damage, so we need to block with as much as we can here. I'm noticing a trend here. You're gonna add more dice for yourself, it gets stronger over time. That's terrifying. The elites are no joke, you have so much health. I guess we entered, then again, I get stronger. Wait, what happened to my plus one strength? No, the plus one, I thought it'd be like cumulative over time. It's only for one turn, oh no. I need to attack as much as I can here, so. I mean, it's still not bad, but I thought it'd be like, you know, you used to be scaling more and more as the battle went on. So that's actually not the case here. And uh, maybe I start, need to start upgrading my dice, my dice then. I guess we end turn. Got him down to 95. Oh, an extra dice is rough. One dice. You can only do six damage here, so let's just block. Um, hmm, how do we do this? I'm just going to take uh, two damage here and do four block. And I want to use this four to actually attack with, because I, I think this guy is just going to get stronger and stronger as the battle goes on, which means I'm like I'm in a rush to take you out as quickly as I can. So we're going to have to take a little bit of damage. Ooh, idle, that's nice for us. Um, not the best rolls. Three and a two for five damage. And only two here. Oh, we, we are... We were not ready for an elite here, unfortunately, but we're... I mean, we got, down, got you down to half health. Okay, a one and a two. Uh, let's not block up too much here. Let's go full aggression here with this. Um, dice. So, you have to use two dice, so two... I mean, eight, like 13 damage. Let's just take... I need to... Do we take it? I, I need to put some damage on you here. No, no, I need to also, like, stay alive, right? So just do this to add ten block and... Make sure we don't get hurt too badly. One more dice so I can shield up and attack twice the same turn be good. Oh, we only took one damage. That was a good thing we blocked up. Ooh, another nasty attack from you. Let's not take any dumb chance here at that block there. Yeah, I think I want one more dice so I can uh, uh, use both my attacks and my shield in the same turn would be useful. It's quite often we have this like one dice being useless. 17 damage, only took five though, okay. All right, two pair. I'm gonna hope that you don't have two pair and just go really hard on the attacking here because uh, you're just gonna get scarier as time goes on and we will end turn. Uh, so that's be a miss, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so they didn't have a pair. Uh, it's actually one pair of two dice, better exclamation. Add next, oh, oh, good roll here, a six plus the strength. Yeah, yeah, let's get a nice big attack on you here. How about another one? Okay, that was a good turn for us. End turn, love that. You are gonna get an extra dice there, which is terrifying. What do you have here? One dice. Um, you can only use one, so at most you're gonna attack me for six. Probably should defend that, maybe. Um, so three, five, six uh, blocks. All the most damage you could have here. A five and two is seven attack. Got you down to twenty-three. Okay, it's not so bad for us. Got to remember to end turn. A little four damage attack is not so bad from you. Uh, you're gonna do nothing here, so do a five and a four to attack. Then a four and a three to attack. You've done a seven health, uh, so you do nothing here, and I can pr if I get the right things here, I can take you out. Oh yeah, seven to six, and you are eliminated. Took uh, 19 damage that but that battle, not bad for an elite. Took more from the voodoo doll. I think I want one more die added here that I can actually use all my stuff. It's a four. Okay, it's fine. Um, a battle or a elite battle. If I go this way, I can get two blessings, which seems good. This way, I have to do an elite battle, the regular battle, only one. I'm gonna go this way, because I want to have... Uh, the blessings seem pretty good. I think we want these. Also, I feel like the reward from the elite battle... Like, what, what was my reward from the elite battle? Just a die? I feel like I get that from a regular battle. Normally, games reward you for, for elite battles. But this one, what was, what was the benefit? An extra die? I could get that from a normal fight, right? What is this? Tail whip? Spelled weird? So, three pair... Wait, how does that work? You mean three of a kind? I'm going to defend just in case, because I don't really know what you're all about here, so let's, let's just do a little bit of that, and then we'll, uh, hey, we can actually uh, do, we can do the thing where, yeah, yeah, that we wanted to do. 
So three pair, this English second language is a bit rough here, but uh, I'm gonna end turn here. You have, technically you have one pair. Do you mean like three of a kind? Three of a kind, okay, and you do 12. 26, holy crap! Because it's times three, I uh, gotcha. So it, it's, whoever made this game, English is not their first language, or they just don't know cards. That was actually three of a kind. So three of the same, that's what that means to say, three of a kind, okay. That was brutal though. Should probably start healing, right? Alright, so you're gonna block next turn, so I can just go ahead and attack as aggressively as I want here with no real penalty. Um, these three dice, I mean, some of the, I might as well because the block kind of like, some, some of it persists, right? You keep some of it, so, might as well, it adds up, right? You're gonna bite me for four damage. Um, I'm, I guess not all the block kept around, huh? Another left. Where'd it go? I mean, I can use everything here. Seven and the six to attack with you. The four and the four to attack with you. The three, three, three block like that. Nine block will take no damage. Normal fight's not so bad. I need, I'm gonna need to heal, but I just don't want to. I want to be stronger. And seven damage, I can just uh, take you out. Uh, oops, almost got the wrong thing there and take you out. And that's more like it's... I guess, wait a second. Oh, the elite gave me an... Okay, so add a die, upgrade a die. You can get that from a normal fight. Same with the heal. So... The, the point of fighting the elite battle is to get the blessing, which tells me that blessings are valued in the game more than dice, so I should have grabbed a blessing from the elite there. Well, now we know. But these aren't, this, you only get, you, it's not one of these things where the elite battle, get, like, I could just go to a blessing tile and get a blessing for free as opposed to fighting a boss for it, so blessing tiles pref preferred to, to go for than elite. Good to know. Um, we, uh, we've, I think we've got enough dice. We need to heal, but, um, upgrade dice instead? Upgrade my... do I upgrade my D6 or do I... I'm not sure which is worth more. Maybe the lower ones are worth more, like, mathematically? To... wait. Upgrade... yeah, let's get... yeah, turn you to a D6. I'm not sure what's the, the best mathematical thing here. Blessing. Give me the blessing. Be good. Um, I'm kind of curious about the two torso gain armor slot. I'm also gonna re-roll because I want to see what else, else is available. Ooh, protective ore. Keep 20% more block. Yes, please, I want to keep more block around here. Do I want to fight another elite yet? I'm not sure I'm really ready. I'm basically, I'm just going for a... Uh, it's another blessing. I get another blessing. Or, I, I honestly, I want to go for here and then to here. And just hopefully chance doesn't, like, hurt me. So, get this passive blessing here. I'm tempted to re-roll, because uh, I want to see what other things are available. But this seems really good. Emmy starts an additional idle card. That's huge. The idle cards just give me a great chance to, like, heal and recover or fight. or Not heal, but, like... Um, I wish I could have an extra weapon slot. Maybe that's a blessed pass if I can get so I can equip this too. Be able to heal will be real nice. Who knows what will happen? Chance. Hopefully it doesn't deal 20 damage to me somehow. Falling. As you're walking in a dense part of the forest, the ground broke and you fell into a deep hole, you lose 15 health. Brutal. Let's explore. Um, you look around and see a huge hole going further than the ground. The circle of the pattern of the hole is highly suspicious. Who or what is Nugget? Um, I'm gonna go back because I have 5 health and what if this random thing just hurts me more? Let's get out of here. Um, uh, try to climb up. Uh, failing. Lost five health. Did I just did I just die? Try to climb up. Uh, you managed to climb up the hole, but I'm I'm at like zero health. No, it only did me the 15 health. I guess you're not allowed to like die from the event or didn't register it. I feel like 15 plus five should have been 20 to kill me, but we've been spared. Town resting by. That's a brutal event though. Looks like I can choose to do one thing: get a new item, upgrade a item, pray for blessing. I think we just have to heal. Unfortunately, uh, I, it's better to like heal as little as possible in these games, but need be. What is this? A dark wizard? Honestly, I'd rather just go to here and, like, it says buy, but I'm actually spending money to just, like, get something free, right? I actually do want to upgrade an item, because I, I feel like this could, uh, be better. So, then again, more blocking would be good. Let's upgrade you, and what does it upgrade to? Still two uses, but, it, oh, it, uh, 50% more damage is huge. I do want that, yes. 50% damage increase on my tax is big for us. So we could fight a rat that poisons us, or do the chance. Do the chance, just because to see what the chances are all about. Cast a hallway in the distance see an abandoned castle. It's half in ruin. You walk towards it and enter it. Once inside, you see a maze of pathways. What path to take? Um, middle. Sure. Castle chest. Hey, we're another chest. Love it for us. That's great. What do we want here? I have room for, uh, like, a helmet and a trinket, so... I don't have room for the uh, of another offhand. This is a trinket. This is offhand. I could, like, upgrade my shield. Two dice. Ooh, it takes one less dice to, uh, to get your shield. That's kind of nice. Add blank plus three blocks. So this shield seems superior to this shield and has two uses per turn. Getting a better shield seems good. Honestly, I think I am going to take the upgraded uh, square shield so I can use four dice and get bonus. Like, blocking's good. Taking less damage is good. My blocking is insufficient right now. 
you go away. Uh, the square shield goes on there. Now we can, uh, now I've got like some surplus dice. Actually, I could use one more die, actually, to be able to use both of these and bullets in the same turn, right? Um, not too precise. I thought I upgraded a, a, one of my D4s into a D6. Why is it not showing up here? Hopefully it is there in battle. I guess I'll fight the, the chicken first. Um, just because that way I don't have to fight that frog twice in a row. See what we're dealing with here. It said he has some kind of like blessing. Was this? Yeah. Boiling blood. Whenever Emmy takes damage, you gain three burn. Oh, I regret fighting you. I guess I can remove burn one time, but that is brutal. I do, in fact, have three uh, dice here. Why can't I open my thing during battle, though? I guess you're not allowed to change your gear in battle. Two idols at the start, which is great, but uh, every t I need to hit you with big damage because your uh, your burn oh, that's brutal. Did I just take three damage right away? No. Deals equal deals damage equal to burn at the end of turn. Burn is not additive. Higher burn value replaces lower. Oh, it's not additive. That's not so bad. And block negates burn. Okay, it's not so bad. It goes down by one each turn, so it won't stack up. That makes it a lot better. So, yeah, we're it just stays at three. Also, oh, and all I have to do is just block three at my end of, end of my turn. And we're fine. So, just do a little bit of this. It only takes two dice and. Boom, seven block. Beautiful. Need one more die, though. But we end turn. The burn just takes away some of my block for my shield, and we're chilling. That's where we, we 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 only remove 55% of the block at the end of each turn, so we keep almost half our block. Focus on our attack here. Four plus three is, uh, yeah, okay, uh, seven plus 50%. Is, yeah, we're putting out much bigger numbers here, and let's do a little bit of shielding up here, and that'll uh, block that fire. We only lose half it, so we should have, what, three or so? Two, I guess. Oh, you take away. I guess it rounds down or whatever, or up. You don't actually fight, you just do, you're, you're all about the burn. One dice, skip the next blank two attacks. Oh, oh, you're gonna make me skip attacks? Oh, I'll get, maybe, or maybe makes makes him, makes him vulnerable. Is your whole, oh, your whole thing is you're a chicken, you don't fight back, but you explode, I guess. Like that's, maybe maybe you're actually like an easy fight here for us. And uh, it's as long as we can block up that burn every turn, like we're fine. So, oh, oh I see, it's, it's haste. Oh, oh, I bet it like it's a timer and if it gets through enough of these, it's gonna be like a, an explosion card down the line. But I'm like taking you out too quick, maybe? I don't know, there's, there's something weird going on here, but you've been destroyed. Do you explode the end? No, all right. Weird, uh, surprisingly easy fight. I guess it is a chicken, right? I do want another die, that way I can use all my things, both my attacks, both my blocks in the same turn. Go for the battle against the green frog here. Venomous blood is your blessing. Guess what, I've got three blessings, uh, better than your one. I guess I could have cleansed the burn, but I didn't really need to. Whenever enemy takes damage, you gain three poison. All right. So you have idle cards. Giving these guys an extra idle card was good. Uh, toxic, uh, two dice deal. The dice minus two poison. So you're all about, you're just going to stack poison and like defend up. So you're the poison boy. It hits you with, uh, I guess, 12 damage right here. And then maybe a little bit more. And we might as well block up because it just seems like a smart thing to do. What's this? Oh, I've, oh, the poison is additive. But is it blockable? We'll find out. It's not blockable, which kind of makes sense, which means there's literally no point in blocking right now. So half the deck I've built here is meaningless. Let's hit you with 10 here. There are actually more that like it's I keep looking. I'm adding up these and not looking at that. There we go. I think I take you out next turn. So I'll remove the poison. It's got some value from that card. Finally, that trinket and oh, no poison. Whatever will I do? Hit you with a lot of damage this turn to uh, take you out. And oh, there you go. Um, do I want another die? I don't think I do. I think I want to upgrade. Um, maybe we'll check out a D6 into a D8. Uh, I'm not sure like, what mathematically is a superior choice, a 6 into 8 or a 4 into 6. I have no idea. I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for a uh, D6. Wait. Oh, 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 there's choices. I can I can either go for D6, 1 through 6, or I can do this, which has a 50-50 chance of being a 1 or a 4. So on average, that's 2.5? Because 4, 8, 9, 10, you know, add the 4 and the 4 and the 1 and the 1, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. What's 21 divided by 6? I grabbed a calculator, it's 3.5, so a D6 is better than this weird 50-50 D4. Although maybe the 50-50 D4 upgrades and something good, I don't know. Um, let's fight this uh, town, rest and buy. Or not fight the town, but check out the town. A blessing would be good. I kind of want to upgrade another item, though. I don't think we need to heal, maybe. Upgrade item. Uh, I kind of want to get you going again. What do you upgrade to? Yeah, uh, just even more damage. That seems pretty good. I want to check out these things just for curiosity. Wait, why can't I upgrade uh, the shield I have equipped? Why can't I upgrade? Uh, why is it, the, it just like it maybe like picks them at random? Um, oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. add add the block and three strength. That's so much extra damage. 
Right? That's like, since I have so many dice, that's really good. What's the difference between this one and this one? It's, this says windshield plus, this is different windshield plus, you have different choices. This one, it says like the block, like up to, th up to three dice. Oh, you don't have to use three dice. You can use just as many dice as you want, which is kind of nice. But I'd rather have this, like that plus three strength. That's going to be, uh, I think that's going to be real good. All right, boss, world boss. I imagine this will be the end of the demo here when I uh, f uh, fight and either lose or win the boss, but who knows? Maybe it's a long demo. We'll find out. What are you all about? Players gain free uses. Units gain additional attacks. At end of turn, all attack is removed. What does that mean? I don't understand what you mean by free uses. Do you get additional attacks? Uh, all attack is removed. I don't, I don't get what that is all about. Rage plus one attack every turn. Ooh. So you gain one rage a turn. You gain one attack per turn, which I can't see what that means, but you lose every turn as well. You got a D, whoever that is, is kind of scary. Idle right away. So I think we want to shield first. I didn't, oh, I didn't equip it. Crap. All right, you know what? We'll be fine, hopefully. Um, you've got 500 health. That's devastating. It's actually, honestly, I'm, I'm having a good time. This game is pretty fun. I don't think we're going to beat the boss here. I think we've made some poor life choices along the way, especially not equipping that thing I just upgraded, but, well, alas, you know, sometimes you make the oopsies here. And what are you doing? You got a little idol there. That's fine. Are you going to gain your... Oh, uh, wait. Oh, you did too. Oh, I get it now. Uh... Units gain additional attacks means that the enemies here, uh, they attack with two cards. They, you know, normally it's one turn, but additional attack means to get to go twice. Uh, if they turn, all attack is removed, so you lose whatever rage bonus you have. Okay, so you're gonna hit me with both of these. So I think you've got so much hit points. How do we possibly beat you? I think we just our our strategy here is just stack lots of attack and then just do the rest on def uh, defense and. Like, hope for the best. Uh, there's really not a lot I can do here. A little fireball coming. There's no point trying to calculate damage. Just attack big, defend big, and hope for the best. And, uh, really that's all we can do here. I'm not sure we've made the best life choices per se in the run up to this point, but it's our first time playing the game. It's called a Let's Try for a Reason. That's a lot of armor there. I have nothing to remove with that trinket. An extra D4. I want a, a, a thing that gives me extra D4. Fire Breath giving me more burn. I can block the burn. I think I'm better off saving the cleanse for when things get dice here later on, maybe? You're not actually attacking me next turn, so again, just full aggression here. All the pain, all the damage, and then we just kind of shield up and uh, hope for this. I've already dealt you 100 damage. I haven't really taken much myself, so maybe there actually is hope that we can uh, beat this upgrade and reroll the lowest dice. That's terrifying and extra. You don't need all these dice, my dude. My dude. You don't. It's too much. It's oppressive. I really wish I remembered to switch the other shield. I, I I wish I could... I want to be able to switch my gear in battle. Or at least give me the option to, like, before like before the battle starts... Those weird bugs, like, flew into my screen. Um, before the battle starts, like, do you want to change your gear? Can you click it? You know, I don't know. Just in case I forget my stuff, that was a hefty attack there. Let's just go big on the damage. Getting that extra damage there is nice. Look at that. So, wait. I clicked four. It's only doing 12 damage. Four, so that's eight. It's only a 50% bonus. Why is it not? Is it because of the strength? Of course. Oh, well, I, I didn't I, I didn't upgrade it for some reason. My brain there for a second there thought that I upgraded that. Um, there's a little bug walking across my screen right there. Hello, little guy. Those weird little stinky bugs. Um, okay, we have, we've gotten some... Oh, it's my turn here. We want to do a little bit of this. I'm distracted by a literal IRL bug walking across my screen. It's right there now. <laughs> it's fine. Uh... Get you out of here. Um, and turn. It's weird to see those this time of year. You are going fire breath. Oh, see, that's what we want to use the cleanse. That's that's a lot of uh, potential burner. Although, um, first of all, we do this. And then we do uh, a little bit of this. Two, four. I can only block eight of that. I mean, you're gonna have you're probably gonna have nastier burns later on, so I'll take a little bit of that burn damage now. I'll save that cleanse. I only get I only get to use it once per time. Yeah, yeah, we'll... Because you weren't even attacking that next turn anyways. I need to wait till that burn is, like... Like, running. You have so many dice, it's not fair. Uh, you're not even gonna... You're only gonna attack for, like, six next... Uh, next turn here, so let's go ahead and... Let's put as much damage out here as we can. We're actually kind of doing all right here, giving them the goods. This is... This game's actually really fun to play, but I'm... I'm it's one of these things where, like... It's probably a, it's a game, like, that's really fun to play, but as far as, like, watchability... Eh... Maybe not the best, I'd imagine. You're gonna do some nastiness here, but we are committing to being as aggressive as possible and 
hoping it kind of works out here. And I mean, so far the shield is doing all right for us. And turn, you are, you, oh boy. Okay, that's not so bad. Three damage, I can deal with that. But then there's this, ooh, 12, scary, scary. Okay, so we need to do the six and the four on you. Three and the two on you, we're, oh, you are, I need, I'm gonna need some uh, better rolls in this, cause this guy's just getting stronger, click the right thing. And I, the 10 burn is not really worth removing. We're looking to remove like, this like some late game devastating amount, like 16, it's, maybe we remove that, a seven and a five, boom, uh, a six and a five, boom. God, we've, we've gotten like 60% of the way there, that's pretty good. Do this, do this, considering we've definitely made some big mistakes along the way. You're gonna burn me up a little bit, but we blocked it. It's the fact that you can burn block is the only reason I'm still in this, right? You're not actually gonna do that much this turn, that's fine, bit of this. Adding the extra idle card for my one pass, the blessing was pretty good for us. More of this, more of this. And we're gonna do a little end turn action right here. 15 shield. What you got for us, a dragon boy? You've got so many dice, it's terrifying. Fireball, two dice is it's you're gonna do some nasty stuff here. Maybe this is where I should shield up more actually when you're doing this, because you're about to hit me with like some big stuff, right? And maybe be a little bit more strategic in my turn making instead of like, you know, I'm learning like the patterns of your attacks here. Oh, yep, look, yep, good thing. Look at that. Was, uh, yeah, yep, that was when you're doing the rip and the fireball in the same time, that's a time to shield up like crazy. Here, I don't need to shield up as much, I don't think. Here's a time to dish out the damage because I can always cancel that burn with a cleanse if need be. And a little bit of this, and we're still in this. We're still alive. You're down to 133. You have far too many dice, my good sir. That's 20. Do I eat that burn damage? I don't know. Um. That's it. Let's just see. Let's first just decide what we have here on uh, all our stuff. We are going to do a little bit of this get, uh, and block up. We're going to block all of it. And you're not actually going to hurt us in this next turn, so we don't need to use that cleanse just yet. Save that until like the final emergency moment when we truly and desperately need it. You're not going to do much here, so this is full aggression turn. I'm starting to learn the like the vibe of how you ebb and flow, and we might actually be able to get ourselves a nice little win here. And we do end turn, and what you got for us? Probably not a whole lot of trouble for us. You keep upgrading your little terrifying die over there. That's up to 18. Okay, you're gonna do some big damage to us here. I don't have lethal yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do as much defending up as we can here, and just kind of hope for the best that you're not gonna emotionally devastate and eviscerate my poor little uh, body and mind here. In turn, hopefully not lethal. Only 11 on there, that's not so bad. Okay, we got some, got some lucky, luckness, luckness on the rolls there. Time for big attacks here. You're getting squishy, you're getting weak. A little bit of blocks. We, uh, we might actually beat this, uh, this uh, first boss on the first run here. You are not playing around here. 27 burn. At this point, we might as well cleanse it, because I think we're going to probably take you out soon, so... Put a stop to that, focus on the attacks. I think we have built ourselves a viable uh, potential winning scenario here. I think we've, I think the strategy worked. Who knows, maybe using the other shield would have made me lose, I don't know. Would like to check it out, I just forgot to equip it. You are, you have so many dice, it is, uh, the, the limiting factor of you isn't the dice, is the fact that like this card can only, you know, it, it can only use two dice. And this can only use two dice, so adding all these extra dice Helps you of getting higher rolls, but even that has its kind of limits here. You are actually, uh, let's, let's stop wasting time talking. We, we beat you. All right. Now the question, is that the end of the demo? Probably, right? Add a 20 die or trinket slot. I already have uh, a 20 die, right? Add a 20 die. Wait, it's still going? We're not done? All right. You know what? This is really cool. I'm probably going to play this on my own for fun, but I think for the purpose of the let's try, we kind of get what it's all about. So um, we did the first boss and this will be the second boss. Uh, maybe the demo ends here. I don't know, but or maybe that maybe the demo just ends once you've uh, you know beaten a run. I don't know, but uh, yeah, good times. I like it, and uh, I don't know who knows. Maybe I do make a series on the channel if people really like watching it. But smash that like button. Let's go.